Adam Kinnean, who is the director and one of the originators of 5B Voices, and Kaylee Elcock, who is one of the five writers involved in the project. Paddy, do you want to tell me a wee bit about um, where the idea came from? Or? Um, it, I, had a, I was working at Glasgow University doing mm -hmm. a playwriting module yep. uh, and working with students. Uh, Kaylee was one of them, and I had this brilliant idea. Since I'm working with students and they're producing plays, why don't we ask some students of writing to write some plays and put them on it or more? Mm -hmm. And it really was as difficult as that to come up with the idea. But you you moved it out across and it wasn't just uh, University of Glasgow. No, I, I, I suggested it to David and uh, he, he then got, got excited and made contact with other universities that, that, that uh, have a, already have a pre-existing relationship with or more play pint and pint. So um, he, he broadened it out to that. And it was just a case of asking people to submit. Yes, we got lots of plays and we read through them all and we had a big discussion and um, yeah, we managed to whittle it down to five. And the range of what, it, well, among, because it's five ten minute plays. Yes, and the, well, the themes... technically nine minutes, but I don't think anything hits the nine minute mark. Right, okay. Five um, nine-ish minutes. Does it pay play. But the range of themes, um, topics covered, yeah. Characterization is quite, it's it's, quite it's, it's really for, broad. It's, yeah. just what, it's just whatever interested people, and and we I think it's more it's more about uh, it's more like being a curator, mm -hmm. and you just put things together, and you let the let the audience make their own mind. Up. Did you deliberately pick a wide range, or does that reflect? Uh, it, it, uh, re it reflects. Yeah, 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 it yeah. just reflects the, the yeah. broad portfolio of interests of all the people that are writing. So, so Kayla, your uh, your piece is just short of sparkling. Um, like giving too much away <laughs> is about a woman who is maybe obsessed with cleaning and it's a, it's a monologue. So where did you get the inspiration for, for doing that piece? And um, well, I guess it was from a range of places. It was actually just an idea that hit me in the moment in yeah. one of the playwriting classes and I decided just to run with it. Yeah. Um, so I wouldn't say from any one place, um, any one, yeah. I didn't kind of nurture the idea from right. like sources and things, but I guess um, the monologue and the, the fact that she's an older kind of woman who's very, very chatty um, and quite funny comes from kind of the, the women that I know from my area back mm -hmm. in Northumberland mm -hmm. and the kind of gossipy nature of conversation back then. Yeah, yeah. How do you find the process? Have you been in rehearsals and that show? Um, I wouldn't say painful, but I would say pain free. <laughs> <'Cause> yeah, <laughs> Katie's play originally yeah. was 20 minutes long. Mm -hmm. Uh, and she submitted it on, on that and, and knew that there'd be cuts that would have to be made. Yeah, um, I think, um, yeah, it's just had to be cut for, for time. It's, I, I'm, I'm totally up for artistic cuts as well, and it it is snappier and better, I think, with some cuts in place, but towards the end it's literally just been kind of practical cuts, like shaving right. off the time, so that's right. a bit painful. Bit cuts, yeah, saying yeah. goodbye to, to pieces that I love, but it has to be done. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> That's true, and that has been a shame. But, but I think yeah. it's 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 always possible that the play can have another life mm -hmm. in a different result, format yeah. where it yeah. can actually. Because we have lost, uh, we've had to cut, but some of the things we've lost have been have added would have added great colour mm -hmm. and, and, and mm -hmm. humour. Um, so we have to be quite incisive, but that's really difficult. But that's but actually that's a a, a good part of the process I think because. Uh, there are always practical considerations at the end of a, a creative process when you translate the... And there are always the compromises to that have to be made. Yeah. 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 Artistic or practical logistics. Or yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> um, and in terms of out with this, what, what other writing are you doing or what is this the start with you? Uh, this is the first thing I've ever written in my life. So, <laughs> <laughs> so it, I don't really have a backlog of, of work that I'd like to de develop, but um, I would like to write some more and I'd like to write more plays. Um, uh, I do a lot of performing, but I'm actually mm -hmm. finding that um, I actually really ca I kind of love writing a bit more than performing. Mm -hmm. I don't read, I don't want to be in my plays, which mm -hmm. is quite refreshing to yes. discover actually. So I want to write more plays. Good, good. We'll that. We'll go back to how you put the five plays together within a really short time scale. How do you how are you providing that kind of continuity? Uh, that's been really difficult. We because of the limited resources, we've got to do five plays with three cast members. Mm -hmm. So uh, instantly, you're kind of looking to to make compromises and work out how you might be able to shoehorn the plays together. Um, we're looking to try and do it with a sense of ensemble, so that you get a sense that three performers are going to do five different things for you. Uh, 
as a, as a device for gluing everything together rather than allowing any, any kind of thematic device to come through. So that's how we're doing it. In terms of the rehearsals, two weeks to rehearse five plays is just not enough. Everyone's brains are totally fried. And, uh, uh, and so for most of the plays, it has to be said, are, are quite uh, straightforward and simple. Mm -hmm. uh, but Katie's play is, uh, is very technically complex because it is about an obsessive character. So there is lots of paraphernalia, yeah. and that's been hard. That's that's always the case. There's going to, you get a tyranny of props in, in rehearsal yeah. where they just demand to, to you, you mm -hmm. mind you mind working with a cloth, and then uh, later on in the rehearsal you realise well where did that cloth go because um, we, we didn't actually have it in rehearsal. So where is it now? So you have to go back and track yeah. through a lot of kind of uh, not dull but, but you know just working day stuff yeah, to, yeah, be, yeah, to yeah. be put into place. Yeah. Um, but, but I, I, again, I, I also feel sorry for the, for the actors in some respects because uh, they're in either two or three plays and so they're just doing one thing and then yeah, jumping out and being thrown yeah. in again. Uh, so it's been, it's been quite crazy. Well, well give us a, just without giving anything away, give us a bit of a flavour of what, what the different plays are. And what well, we've got, uh, we, we start off with a piece which uh, concerns an artist who is uh, making a journey across the country who meets some who, who meets a, a local woman on uh, as he's doing a, as he's making a piece of art, mm -hmm. and they have a they have a moment, and then he goes on. Uh, so that that's quite a, that's quite an interesting exchange. We then have uh, a solo piece uh, written by Victoria Bianchi, which is about uh, a young woman's relationship with makeup. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, after that, I'm trying to think what the next piece after that is. After that, we go into uh, a comedy by David Cosgrove called uh, Dreams of Fiji, which is set. In the nine minutes between the declaration that the that the meteor is sure. actually going to strike, dark and comedy. Dark, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It gets darker as the meteor arrives. Yeah, yeah. Um, and the, uh, uh, the the fourth piece is just short of sparkling, Katie's piece. And the fifth piece is also by another student from Glasgow Uni, Emily Aitchison, and that's called The Godfather. And that's um, a kind of a two character comedy about be careful what you what, wish for. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the theme on that. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. massive range. Good range. Brilliant. Mm. Thank you very much. Welcome.